Now, personal trainers meet people of varying fitness levels and get asked a lot of very interesting questions every single day. Back in the Harvey Norman Lounge to answer some of the most common questions is fitness expert Selena McPhee. Good morning, Selena. Morning, Mal. It is lovely to have you back in the studio. You too. Yeah, you it's good to be here. You're, you're, you know so much about fitness, and I want you to get us all back on track right now. So we start exercising with a bit of a hiss and a roar generally, but maintaining that motivation does get harder. So what advice do you give to your clients? Look, I think the biggest, I think the biggest thing we've got to remember is why, why we're doing it and anything we do we've got to ask ourselves why. Um, so things like also um, saying positive affirmations to yourself, um, setting realistic goals, um, remembering why you're doing it as well as surrounding yourself by motivating people uh, as well as yeah being uh, keeping it in the front of your mind what, what you're doing. So why do, why do people mostly exercise? What are the common reasons that you get from them? Um, generally, first one is usually to lose weight. Um, a lot of it is to, some people say, burn fat, build muscle, um, sports. Um, it could be a personal thing, uh, rehab, mm. coming back in from an injury, things like that. Just feel strong and good about yourself. That's a good reason, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, definitely. Um, another common query is about food. So what should we eat before and after a workout? Okay, depending on how long before you've got, look, two to three hours, you really should eat a whole meal full of protein, carbs and fats. Okay. So you want something like that. Obviously, the less of time before you exercise, the less of the meal. So that's a good way to remember it. Um, if you're only an hour out from exercising, perhaps a piece of food fruit like a banana um, to definitely get you through that workout. So you should have something. What about afterwards yeah. though? Protein. Protein's uh, definitely a good post-workout uh, remedy, especially after a workout. And how close to your workout should you be aiming to have something, get some protein into you? Like I said, usually half an hour to an hour. All oh, right, so, so, and then so afterwards, just like straight into the protein shake? Yep, you've usually got about a 20 minute window to get that protein in. So, oh, okay. between 20 minutes to 60 minutes. Oh, I didn't know that, that it had to be quite so quickly, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. That's good to know. So, how important is nutrition when you are trying to lose weight? Um, I think nutrition is just as important as exercise. So, I don't think one is more important than the other. I think they both go hand in hand together. Um, obviously, if you don't eat enough, there's the fact that you could actually. Um, burn more muscle and gain more fat. Um, and if you don't exercise, your metabolism will slow down, therefore um, counteract doing what you're actually trying to do. Right, you've got to make sure you're doing the right amounts of things, don't you? Because Absolutely. you may think that you're doing enough exercise and that's if you're eating the, the high fats and everything, you're just going to end up putting on weight. Exactly, that's exactly And not right. the good kind of weight. Uh, one of the most common questions I'm sure you get asked is about belly fat. Yes. How do you get a flatter belly? Okay, there's a few things you can do. Obviously, regular exercise does help. Um, things like restricting your carbohydrate intake, increasing your protein, um, and also taking away sugars and artificial sweeteners. They also um, go to the belly, so getting rid of those types of foods are good. Okay, so that's going to make a difference? It is, it's definitely going to And you're going to say difference. that. It's all the fun stuff you've got to rule out, don't you? It is, it is, it is. But there's still fun in, in eating healthy as well. Now. Actually, and it's great about how good it makes you once you start, how good it makes you feel. Absolutely, and, and you just want to continue with that. The more yeah. you eat well and good, the more you want to do it. And the more you exercise, it does change your mindset, doesn't it? It does, it really does. It becomes <laughs> addictive. And it makes you into a much more positive person. Definitely. In all areas of life, not just in, you know, health and fitness. In all areas. Mm. Yeah. Uh, so finally, if you've got 20 or 30 minutes and you want to squeeze in a workout, yes. what would be your best advice? Look, I think body weight exercises and HIT type of training is perfect for a 20 minute workout. So people that don't know what HIT is, what is it? Um, high intensity training. Mm -hmm. So um, obviously you go for a certain amount of time at a high intensity, you have a break and you go back. So perhaps 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off two to three rounds of a certain exercise, seven different exercises, and that's a 20 minute workout. So instead of spending countless hours in the gym, you've got it done in 20 to 30 minutes. Okay, so you don't have to spend hours, you can get no, things done No, not at all, you can. You can definitely, 20 to 30 minutes a day, even just a walk is better than nothing. Yeah. Um, and you'll build endurance um, as well as strength um, and stamina. So yeah. just get that body up and get it moving. Absolutely, that's that's the key, Mel. Yeah, okay, that's what consistent. we've got to do. Yeah. Well, it's always a pleasure having you in the studio, Selena. Thanks, Mel. Thanks so much for joining us. Right. Great advice as always. Now, Selena runs box and ride classes in Auckland, which are amazing. You can check out the website or follow SMPT on Facebook.